Hi, in this video, we'll introduce method overloading. You may notice this voice is different from the voice in the other videos. It's because this is a guest lecture. My name is Calvin, and I'll be taking you through method overloading. So imagine this scenario. Let's say you're writing a class to do mathematical operations for you. You want to provide methods that sum together two parameters. So you make the first one, you call it int sum, and it takes two integers, one and two, and returns the sum of the two. And now you go to write another method, it does the same thing, performs a sum, but this time it takes two doubles. Well, now you have to call it sum doubles because sum is already taken. Now you want to write another one that sums an int and a double. Well, now you have to call it sum int and double because all these names are already taken. Now, the problem with this is this is very tedious and method names can become bogged down in the exact parameters they're taking. Really, these are all performing sums, so it'd be nice if they could all be called sum. Well, introducing method overloading. Turns out, in Java, classes can have multiple methods with the same name, as long as the arguments to those methods are different. So, method overloading is that methods in a class can have the same name as long as their parameters are different. So, instead of having these really long names, sum, sum double, sum int and double, we can call all three of these methods sum because their method signatures are different. One of them takes two ints, one of them takes two doubles, and one of them takes a mix. Java is able to figure out which method is being called based on the parameters that are being passed and their order. So here, int result equals sum of one and two. Well, we're passing two ints and we're expecting an int back, so this must be calling the sum that takes two ints. Here, double result equals sum of 2.0 and 1.0. Well, this is clearly calling the sum that takes two doubles. So how can we perform method overloading? We can have two methods with the same name that have different types, int one and two, double one, double two. That works. Can we have parameters in a different order? It takes an int followed by a double, or it takes a double followed by an int. That works as well. Java is able to tell the difference. What if we have a different number of parameters? One sum takes two ints, and one sum takes three ints. Yes. Again, Java is able to tell, based on the parameters that you pass the method, which one is being called. What about different names? If we have a sum that takes an int and a double, and then another sum that takes an int and a double, but the names are different, then will Java be able to tell the difference? No. The method signatures have to be different. It's not enough to just name the parameters different. So to perform method overloading, the method signatures need to be different. They either need to have different types of parameters, different ordering of the parameter types, or a different number of parameters. Let's try this out in the editor. So here we have a program that performs sums on various integer and double values. As you can see, we have several different sub methods. They all have the same name, but they each have a different method signature. This one takes two ints, this one int double, double int, double double, and then three ints. Each of these methods, when called, will print out a message indicating that you are inside that particular method. Here in run, we have several different calls. One is calling int int, the next one int double, double int, double double, and then all three ints. So each of these should be calling a different method, and then we'll print out the results. So let's see if Java can, in fact, figure out the difference between all of these sum calls. Awesome, it worked. So we see that in the first call, calling sum with two, and passing two int values called the correct one, int sum int one and two. Calling sum with an int followed by a double called this one right here, sum of int double. Calling it with a double followed by an int called the correct one, sum double int. Double double called sum that takes two doubles and three ints called the sum that takes three ints. Awesome. Now what if we tried writing a sum method that had the same method parameters but different names, int x and int y. Return x plus y. Will Java allow us to do this? Mm. The method sum int int is already defined in the class sum. So you cannot define the same method twice. and It only goes by the types, not by the names. So if we delete that, it should be running well again. Great. Now, method overloading can be very useful for providing more convenient methods to programs that are using the classes that we write. So here we have a circle class, and right now it has one constructor that takes a radius and a color. Well, what if someone using our class wanted to make a circle, but they only wanted to specify the radius? They didn't care about the color. We should provide a constructor that only takes a radius, likewise with just a color and maybe even a no-argument constructor. So we can actually override the constructor. Let's make three more. We'll make a circle constructor that only takes the radius. 
we'll make a circle constructor that only takes the color and we'll make a no argument circle constructor. Here, we want to set the radius to the radius provided. And we'll set the color to the default color, which in this case is blue. In this constructor, we want to set the color to the color provided. And we want to set the radius to the default radius. And lastly, with the no argument constructor, whoever called this one just wants the default values. They don't want to specify it. Uh, either the radius or the color in this circle. So we'll set the radius equal to the default radius and the color equal to the default color. Great. Now I've made a circle tester class that's calling each of these. This one specifies both. This one specifies only the radius, only the color, and none. Let's see what gets printed out. Great. This correctly made a green circle of radius 50. This one used the default color blue radius is correctly set to 100. This one had the color orange and the radius was correctly set to the default of 10. And this one had both default values blue and 10. Great, so that is how we can use method overloading in our classes.